Hi everybody, it's Lena. Welcome to my very first process video that I actually don't have to hold the phone to do or bribe my daughter to hold the phone for me or place the phone in some weird position that may or may not fall on my face as I do this. I actually bought a really neat little clamp that clamps to the counter or the table and it holds my phone over me. And I also bought a nice little microphone that I am talking into now. You guys will have to bear with me because I do have a cold. So if I sound a little wonky, that would be why. As for the painting, I'm using my Woodlands palette, which I use for a lot of my art, probably most of my art, just even just my sketches. I love this Woodlands palette so much. It's by Prima Watercolors and you can actually get it on Amazon, but it's wonderful. If you really like drawing nature -y stuff, I would definitely take a look at it. I also decided to paint a Junko because I've been practicing them lately and decided I just wanted to do it for the video. Something that I am still practicing, but I've gotten somewhat the hang of. I'm also using a water brush with a fine tip and I've actually become very close with my water brushes. I used to really dislike them, but I learned recently that you can really control the water flow with it and because of that you can decide whether something you want something to blend in with something or um, you can re-wet the paper in that area that you're not particularly finished working in yet. Sometimes the watercolor dries a little fast and you're thinking, oh, well, I wasn't done. But with the water brush, you can actually reactivate pretty quickly. Uh, the hair, the, I say hair dryer, but it's not a hair dryer. It's actually just a, well, some sort of dryer <laughs> that you can buy for art. I like this actually a lot more than a hair dryer because the heat and the air coming from it is actually more focused to one area. So it's like a jet engine. It's like, and it dries it pretty fast. I don't use it very often because I do like how things look better. I personally think things look better once it's when it air dries, especially some of those interesting, weird techniques that I do. I don't know, like the gouache on the, you know, gouache for instance if you dry it with a hair dryer sometimes it looks a little fainter than if you just let it sit there i don't know maybe that's just me you know being a crazy person anyway as for the crazy ghost bird um his name is jerry he's a ghost and i only made him a ghost because this is my sketchbook and i'm just messing around and i messed up a little and he started to blend in a little too much with other things so i thought well i'll make him a little more abstract make him a ghost bird and just kind of have him free, like, wispy, I don't know, maybe he's part of the wind, I don't know. And the blue spatter that just happened is because my daughter was working next to me and she was getting very passionate with her ultramarine. Anyway, so that's basically it for my first little process video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much.